Welcome to Excel Magic Trick number 1244. If you want to download this workbook and follow along, click on the link below the video. Oh my heavens. Excel Magic Trick 1243, 1242, Mr. Excel and Excel is Fun Trick 174. And Bill Sizzes is Power Query Dual 174. All four of these videos did the same thing. We want to extract data from a big data set and reorganize the data. Oh man, here it is, the fifth video on this very topic. And this example comes from Bill Sizzes, as does a few of the others. Let's come over here, and here's our goal. We have this huge data set, country, indicator, and a bunch of years all the way out to 2013. And guess what? We have three sets of criteria for extracting from this big data set and getting a much smaller data set. Now, the first thing is, number one, from the indicator column, we only need gross domestic products. So you can see for Afghanistan, there is a bunch of indicators. So we only want gross domestic product for each country. The second condition is, boom, there it is, a list of all sorts of countries from this huge list control down. On. There's like over 3,000 records. From this cell, we need to tell the data set down here, only find Argentina, Belgium, Brazil, Canada, etc. That's from this column. And then the third condition is we only want the years so that means our actual third condition or criteria for extracting means we need to tell it, take only this column, only this one, only this one, et cetera. Well, we did it all sorts of ways. Formulas, filters, Power Query, but advanced filter is going to win this time. Now, before we actually jump over and look at advanced filter, because we're going to use a formula as our criteria, let's create a helper column here and see if we can create a series of trues and falses for these 3,000 records that will actually indicate that that record should be extracted. Now watch this. Here's a country right here. If I ask the question, are you this country in this cell right here, we could actually use the search function. Now, the search function looks for a smaller text string. So I'm going to say, hey, find that text string, comma, within this larger text string. And search will return the position that it finds the text string. Now, I'm going to F4 to lock this. And let's just close parentheses, Control-Enter, double-click, and send this down to just see if this is working. So the very first one is Argentina. And notice it found it in that larger text string up there as the first position in the larger text string. If we scroll down, Belgium starts in the 12th character in that larger text string, Control-Home. Now, I don't want those errors, and I don't want the positions, F2. All I want is is number, which is asking, hey, the result from search, are you a number? Close parentheses, Control Enter. Double click and send it down. So now we get falses. And finally, down here, you can see instead of those positions, we're getting trues, which will work fine. And we have a second condition, remember? One, two cells to my left has to equal gross domestic product. So I'm going to hit F2. So far, this is true or false, but we have two conditions that we want. I'm going to use the AND function. Logical one, there it is. We already have the true or false to indicate that the record is what we want for extraction, comma, arrow, arrow, to ask the question of the relative cell reference as I copy down, are you equal to? And I'm actually going to click here, double click, and I want to hit the F9 key to evaluate, but I have my Camtasia on, and it actually uses F9 for pause. So I'm going to go up to Formulas. And over here, there's the F9 button. So Calculate Now. I just want to hard code that in. And there it is. That's the second condition, the second logical test that will actually deliver a true or false. It's only when the AND has a true for logical 2 and logical 1 that it will deliver a true to this record. Control Enter, double click, and send it down. So when we come down, to our first Argentina. Now we have a bunch of falses except for the one that indicates gross domestic product. Now, why do we do this helper column? Because we're not going to use it. I just wanted to show you the logic of how advanced filter uses formulas. If I take this very same formula as if it were in a helper column and throw it over into the criteria area for advanced filter, 
it will simulate this helper column in memory. So I'm going to copy this, Escape, scroll over here, and I've already set it up. I put it in edit mode, Control-V. Now remember, over there, it copied down the helper column. When I use now that formula as the criteria area in Advanced Filter, it will simulate that column and know which records to extract. Now here's the other amazing thing about Advanced Filter. If I limit the extract area just to the names of the fields or the columns from our original data set, like 2006, 7, 8, et cetera, it will know to extract only those columns. So there it is. Logical 2, that's condition number 1 we started with. Logical 1, that's condition number 2, finding the right country. And then all of these field names will be the third condition. All right, watch this. This is amazing. Now, actually, before we invoke Advanced Filter, I actually want to remove this column to prove that it's not necessary. Control, Shift, Down, Arrow, Delete. Now, let's go all the way over, and we will invoke Advanced Filter. Click in a single cell in the original data set, Data, Advanced Filter, or the keyboard, Alt-A-Q. Now, it jumps us all the way over. But here it is. We got the correct original data set we want to see. Copy to another location. Our criteria range, and very important, that up there, that can be either an empty cell, or I put filter formula criteria. Got to click the cell above and the formula that advanced filter will actually copy down in memory to simulate that helper column and copy to range. This is where we put our third condition. This is the extract range. So by putting the field names in copy to, that's going to be part of our criteria for extracting. And when I click OK, you got to be kidding me. Now I'm going to click in the top cell, Control Shift right down arrow, Control 1, something like number, no decimals, click OK. In earlier videos, we did fancy custom number formatting, but that is simply amazing. We did our advanced filter with the formula, our copy to range to include the criteria for field names. I love hanging out on our online Excel team. Thanks to Bill Scissors for this awesome advanced filter trick. All right, we'll see you next trick.